So today we are in an LCBO liquor store in Barrie, Ontario. All right, let's see what they got. A lot of these prices are a lot higher, obviously, because this is in Canadian. But, you know, back home, this is like a $30, $40 bottle, uh, $52, $60. Some of this stuff, it seems like it's very inflated. I feel bad uh, for some of the prices that people have to pay for this stuff. Um, Buffalo Trace, you're looking at $44.96. And I'm not sure if this all includes taxes or not. But uh, we're gonna dig around and see if we can find anything interesting. They have this whiskey shop locked case over here. Just to kind of give you an idea of the prices, look at this. $89.95 for small batch, single barrel straight rye, same price. They obviously have a huge selection of local Canadian whiskeys. I'm not really sure what I should be looking for. If there's anything that you guys see that I should have looked at or picked up, let me know. I do come to Canada quite often, so I, I'll be able to pick it up on the next trip. This, this kind of caught my eye. This is kind of a cool label. Calgary Stampede. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a rye. I'm not really too much into rye. I'm, I'm trying. I was at a uh, shop the other day and they had the Detroit City rye. I tried that and it's supposed to be a mellow rye, but I was like, ah, I don't know. I'm, I'm really trying, guys. I'm really trying to get into rye. Plenty of Crown Royal. And like, even check this out. The 1792 small batch, which you can find everywhere back home. 52.95. Wild turkey rare breed. I mean, nothing crazy. We got some Sazerac down there. $52.95 for the Sazerac rye. Got some rums. I mean, it's a really cool store. They have like a lot of stuff that I've never seen before. It's just that some of the stuff is like, when would I come across it again? So like I said before, if there's anything that you guys see that I should have looked at and picked up, let me know. I'm gonna keep digging around. I'll let you know if I find anything. So let me know if you guys like coolers. I had a couple here that I was looking at trying, but this one caught my eye, the Jameson Whiskey Lemonade. I don't know, I've never seen this back home. Let me know if it's any good. I'm gonna probably grab at least one. This Flying Monkey Craft Beer, look at, look at this can. The freaking like cat shooting laser beam rainbows. Like what is going on here? brewed in Canada, might have to grab one. So not even five seconds after I set down that crazy can with the cat shooting the rainbow lasers, I heard a commotion in the front of the store. So I walked up to the front and apparently three guys came in and stole a bunch of Grey Goose vodka. And the ladies were running around trying to get their phones out, get pictures of it. I saw the car leave. I didn't get a chance to see the guys in there, but apparently three guys came in, stole a bunch of vodka at checkout. I was talking to the lady and trying to get some information about what happened and she's like yeah stuff like this happens a lot so kind of sucks uh that it happens uh, but it is what it is so i did end up grabbing uh two things i this just looked uh interesting to me crazy uncle craft soda for grown-ups strawberry cream soda and then i picked up a jameson whiskey lemonade and I don't know if this is available back home. I've never seen this crazy uncle before. It says established in 2012. So I don't know. I The the whiskey and bourbon prices, it just seemed like they were really high uh, for what they were. Obviously, you guys saw that. But I think this was like six bucks uh, Canadian for both of these. So it wasn't too bad. Give me at least something to try from the trip. I did get some information from that lady, though. She said special releases like... Blanton's, Weller, Eagle Rare, all that kind of stuff, the allocated stuff that we have back home, gets released like one to two times a year here. And LCBO stores are the only ones in Canada that can sell spirits. Now they are starting to get some more stuff into the grocery stores and trying to get stuff into gas stations, but it seems like it's a slow moving process. So yeah, this is this is what you have. So if you're if you're coming to Canada hoping to have like a bunch of liquor stores to go to. It's not going to happen. It's all the LCBOs and it's going to be similar prices to what I saw. It's all ran by the country. So it's not even 
based off of the provinces it's all ran by the the federal government so yeah that's that's about it for today i'm not sure if i'm gonna do much more looking around today but that's uh what it's like to go into an lcbo here in canada you guys have a good one